So I came to show them what you are doing. What I'm doing. Well, here it is. It's kind of, it's a prototype right now. I want to build another one later that's a little bit better, but. Okay, so what are you building? I haven't told him yet. <laughs> yeah. So have you ever done something that you thought was such a good idea at the time, but then it turned out to be a bad idea? Let's see, back in the beginning when, I very, when we very first put in this garden, um, we basically just came in and we just tilled it up and we planted and then we went ahead and we mulched it. And things grew really well. The only problems I had that year was being able to find enough mulch to keep everything, keep the weeds down and all of that. Well, once that growing season was over, um, through the winter, I decided to research different thing, ways that I could possibly um, do the garden that would be, maybe be easier and uh, maybe less time consuming and, you know, basically less costly because buying the... Um, straw and stuff that I used to mulch it with wasn't exactly cheap. So anyway, when I was looking through Pinterest, I found this really, really, really cute idea. And you know how Pinterest things are. They're just so cute on Pinterest, but when you try to do them in real life, they're not that great at all. But anyway, at least for me, they're not. So anyway, um, what I found was that somebody had taken some pallets and they had cut them down and they took the boards and they made this little cute wooden walkway in their garden. The boards weren't perfectly put in or anything like that and you know there was a little bit of dirt showing here and there and then they kind of let the grass grow in between them and it looked so cute and so amazing. And I was just like oh my gosh you know I've got to do that in my garden. And um, also at that time I was looking into doing raised beds because I thought raised beds would be a whole lot easier. So anyway, the cost involved in actually building the raised beds was too much. And so um, I brainstormed more ideas on how I could do maybe a raised bed without actually building it out of wood or tin or something like that. And um, I just decided to basically go ahead and build my raised bed on the ground without a frame or anything around it and just kind of build it up. And then over time, I would um, basically build the frames around them whenever I could. And so I thought that would look really awesome combined with that cute little Pinterest idea of a walkway. And so that's what I set out to do and I we basically broke down a whole ton of pallets. Then we took the boards and we went and made a walkway all the way around the garden. And then I planned out where I wanted my raised beds at and then I put the walkways in between and everything like that. And it turned out so so I mean it didn't look near as cute as what I've seen on Pinterest but you know it worked and so through that summer I was able to pretty much stay ahead of the weeds and you know my garden did okay it produced well well then the next year came and so did the weeds they flat out they just took over the whole garden and I just couldn't keep up and you know they were growing in the walkways and they were growing in the planting beds and I just couldn't keep enough mulch on them. That was another problem too is I just couldn't find enough mulch around here. At that time I was trying to use straw bales and they were kind of scarce. Even though we are surrounded by wheat fields, the straw was still scarce. And then the stuff that I did find it turned out to be kind of a little pricey. So anyway, um, Long story short, it was just a mess, and after a couple of years, I was just like, forget it, and so I went back to just trying to mulch the whole entire garden. So I didn't really want to tear all of those boards out that were in the garden, and so just because it would be a lot of work. And so I left them, and I decided that I would just keep mulching over them and letting the soil build up over them, and then they would eventually decompose, and then everything would be good after that. Well, um, you know, I've had to pay attention to where the boards are at and try to plant basically where I had my raised beds at because of the boards being shallow and in the way. 
I've decided to make a bed right through here to plant some lettuce and spinach and Swiss chard and Miley wants to plant some flowers and uh, maybe some cabbage and broccoli and things like that. And so um, I decided to possibly take like our small tiller and lightly till it up, just barely till it up, just to basically knock out the weeds and kind of loosen up the soil just a bit to get the seeds in the ground. And so anyway, there was a couple of tough weeds and so I was taking the hoe and trying to get those weeds out and then I ran into that walkway that I put in. And I was like, oh man, it's not gonna work to really plant too much stuff because some of those boards were kind of shallow yet. So I decided to go and tear them all out. And so there's a portion of what I've torn out and that, there's the spot where it was at. So that's taken some work and some time out of my day to get that done. And so right now I'm kind of regretting my oh so brilliant idea of putting all that walkway in several years ago. It was definitely an idea that looked a whole lot better on Pinterest than it does in my own garden. So I ended up going a little bit deeper than I had planned, but uh, most of that came from um, the spots where I dug the boards out. So there it is. I just want to cry, I tell you. I accidentally hit the greenhouse with the tiller and gouged a hole right there. So now I'm gonna have to go buy some tape, especially made for greenhouses, and get that fixed. Well, digging all those boards out of there took way more time than I was anticipating. And I think it's getting to be about supper time, so I'm probably gonna have to quit and go fix supper instead of get this planted like I planned. But before I do that, I'm gonna go over and give you a sneak peek of something exciting that Dylan's doing. Hey. Hey. So I came to show him what you are doing. What I'm doing. Well, here it is. It's kind of, it's a prototype right now. I want to build another one later that's a little bit better, but. Okay, so what are you building? I haven't told him yet. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna build a go-kart. Hopefully. So far I got the frame done. Get a seat and hopefully, I think it looks about right, right size. Yeah, that does. It looks awesome. I know. I can't wait to get it going. And I see you got the pedals. I haven't seen those yet. Yep. Got the pedals. Gas and a brake. Awesome. Knuckles and spindles. They'll go like so. Well, this is the other side, but you can get the general idea. That'll be awesome. Oh, I know it. I've got a few more things to order yet. I haven't got them here yet, but get, I think this next paycheck I'll be able to order some things and get it going maybe next month, hopefully. Yeah. We plan to vlog his progress, so be, if you want to watch his project as it unfolds, be sure to stay tuned. So I went and checked the time, and it's actually earlier than I thought it was, and so... I asked the kids and everybody was all for doing, still doing other things right now, or working, and Miley wanted to plant, so that's what we're doing. Yeah. Can you get out of here? You don't belong in the greenhouse. I'd really get a lot more done if I didn't have to chase the dang chickens out of the garden in the greenhouse all the time. <laughs> Wait, and these chickens, let me know. put these seeds up. They know they're not supposed to be in here. Okay, open up the gate. I'll
didn't need the gate after all. No, we didn't. Miley's making a row for her hollyhocks. Is that deep enough for them? How deep do they need to be? Um, you got that peck in look. I can't remember. Ooh. One half inch. So, is that good? For yeah, them? that'll be. That'll be good. And how far apart do they need to be? They're just like, mm, distance. 18 inches. 18 inches. Um, I am marking why this is a holiday, right? Okay. The row is crooked. So, do you know that it's okay to have crooked rows? You do them all the time? Because you can plant more of a crooked row than you can a straight row. You can? Huh? 